I think both of them were there, right? No, I did. <laughs> I think both of them were there, right? Yeah, Rai Prahlad and Raghav. Raghav. That was said, Mataji, but she just woke up and she was not. Oh. Like, immediately from the bed, she was chanting. She just wanted to be with Rai Prahlad. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice that these kids are so inspiring, right? Yes, yes, even some Sruti chants every day, it sounds so I'm very, very nice, it. wonderful. Yeah, thank you, Mataji. I just saw you made a cookie ghost. Okay. Uh, I'll share the screen. Who wants to uh, recite prayers today? Rapal, do you want to start with the prayers? You want to do that? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, wrap it up. You start from Namostapadaya? Yes. Om Agyana, sorry. Om Agyana Timirandasya. I will share this. Om Agyana Timirandasya. Yananjara Shalakaya. Chakshurun Militam Yena. That's my Sri Guru Venamaha. Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam. Tapinam Yena Bhutale. Okay, we will sing Nama Om Vishnu Padaya. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale, Shri Vare Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pracharine, Nivya Shesha Sunyavari, Pasat Deksha Tarine, Jai Shri Krishna Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Priya Dvaita Kathara, Shri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very good, thank you. So, like we all know, you all know that, right? We recite this verse every day before our class. So, I think everyone knows this verse, right? Yes, is there anyone new? Tapatra, okay. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you for thank you for teaching me, Akshita. Thank you, Balavrinda. So nicely you're reciting. Very nice. Okay, Advait, is that you? You have raised hand. Yes, Mataji. Go ahead. 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 Go Avaudyate Takriti B Su Su Pis Tat Krishna. Thank you, Mata. Very nice, Advait. Thank you. The tune with which Advait is singing, mm -hmm. that is also very nice. You all can follow that if it is easy for you to rem uh, memorize. Okay. Thank you, Advait. Ramachandra, do you want to recite? Yes, Mataji. Dharma Projita Kaita Gotra Parama Nirmat Saranam Sadam 
Vedyam Vastavam Atra Vastu Sivadam Tapatra Yonulanam Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite Kimba Pare Rishwaraha Tadya Hridya Vadutya Tetra Kritibi Sushribistakshana Very nice. Thank you, Ramachandra. Prahlad? Dharma Projita Kaita Vodra Parma Nirmat Saranam Satam Vediam Bastam Matra Vastu Shivadam Tapatrayo Mulanam Vediam Bhagavate Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite Kimba Prerishra Sadhya Hridya Varudya Te Krita Vihi Sishishubi Shakshanat Very nice. All of you are reciting very nicely now. Most of you have uh, memorized it right now, right? So now there are many hands raised. So I will just give two two uh, people chance. Okay, together you can recite. Is that Mukun? That difference? Yeah, yeah. Mukun and Raipulat. Can you both recite? Mataji, can you see the sloka? Who's that? Yes, yeah, Jagdish, I'll give you a chance. Can you raise your hand in the list and then I will give you in the sequence. Is that okay? Because they all have raised their hands. Okay, very good. Mukunda and Rai Prahlad, can you please both recite? Yes, Mataji. Dharmaha projita kaita votra paramo nirmatranam satam vedayam vastavam matra vastu sivadam tapa trayona mulanam shimad bhagavate mahamuni kimba pare ishwaraha sadhyo hride avar avar dhyuta tra kriti bihi very good thank you akshita kabir uh, can you both uh, recite this yes mataji Dharma projita kaita vatra paramo nirmat saranam satam vedyam vastava matra vastu shivadam tapatra yulanam shrimad bhagavate mahamunikate kimba pare shvara sadyo ridya varudya tetra kriti bhi shushru shubhistakshanat very nice. Thank you. <clears throat> Krishna Naina and uh, Jagadish, you had raised hand, right? I don't see your hand raised now. Mataji, or... he just left. Left, okay, maybe some problems. So Krishna Naina and Dhruva. Dharma Prajita Kaitava. Dharma Projita Kaita Votra Paramo Nirmat Saranam Statam Vedyam Vastava Matra Vastu Sivadam Tapatrayona Mulanam Srimad Bhagavate Mahamunikate Kimba Parira Ishwara Sadhya Hrid Abharudya Tetra Kutibi Sushrubish Dakshanat very good. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Dhruva, uh, are you there? Dhruva? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Yeah, okay, one second. You and Samskruti can both recite, okay? Yes, Mataji. Dharma very nice. Thank you. Isha and Kavya. Okay, Jagadish has. Okay, later Jagadish can read. Isha and Kavya, can you both recite? Yes, Mahati. Dharma Projita Keta Vodha Prapara Nidhna Sankar Vidyam Vastam Ara 
जगदीश एंड अथर्वा कैन यू बोथ सिंग रिसाइट दिस ओके माता जी माता जी धर्म प्रोत्सित सर्वत परम श्रीमद्भागवते महामुनिते जगदीश Okay. Anyone else uh, is there who wants to recite? Uh, who is Nirmal Prema? Suraj, you did not recite today. Okay, Mantaji, I'll recite now. Okay, let me uh, see. Who is Nirmal Prema? Is that someone new? Mantaji, I think. Uh, a no new person came, so I think uh, it's just somebody on their parents' phone. Oh, so who is that? Can you unmute? Yes. Can you say your name? My name is Avijitta. Who? Avyukta. Avyukta, is this your first day, Avyukta? No, Mataji, I will join sometimes. <laughs> join sometimes. Okay. Are you aware of this verse? Um, no, I haven't sung this verse. Okay, but uh, you have been hearing this in classes, right? Yes, Mataji. Okay, so do you? Want to recite this with uh, Suraj? Are you comfortable? I'll try, Mata Ji. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Suraj. Go ahead. Dharma projita kaito utra paramoni. Suraj, Suraj, can you go a little slow? Okay. Dharma projita kaito utra paramoni. Dharma saranam sadam. वेरी गुड थैंक यू अभिता थैंक यू सूरज थैंक यू माथ जी नाउ एवरी वन गॉट अ चांस टू रिसाइड राइट Did I miss anyone? Okay, Avikta, where are you from? Michigan, Mataji. Okay, nice to have you in the class, Avikta. Mataji, I know Avikta. You know, okay. Yeah, <laughs> She's me too. She's your friend. She's your friend. Nice, nice to know. Okay, quickly we will re uh, read the translation, okay, and then we'll move to our next session. because we spent more time on this today i feel okay who wants to read mm. atharva can you read yes mr ji completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated this bhagavata purana propounds the highest truth which is understand is understandable by those devoted by purely pure in heart the highest truth is reality the stream comes from illusion from the from the welfare of all such truth approaches the threefold miseries thank you mataji thank hari krishna thank you hari krishna avikta do you want to read avikta okay somebody let's join Okay, Pralad, do you want to read?
Pralat, are you there? Or oh, a Sanskriti do you want to read? Yes, Matsuki. Okay. This go ahead. beautiful this beautiful Bhagavatam compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity is sufficient in itself for godly realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As mm. soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within their heart. Thank you, Mataji Harikrishna. Thank you. Okay. Those who are not on cameras, try to be on cameras. Okay. So we will revise. That's what we do always, right? So uh, just tell me some whatever you know, remember from this chapter. Quickly, someone. Two, three points. Um, can Sanskriti say? Yes, Sanskriti, go ahead. Um, Arjuna was remembering all the times he had with Krishna. Okay, very nice. Anyone else? Anybody else? Quickly, we will do this quickly, okay? Because we don't want to... Pranav, go ahead. I just went, went away. Uh, what, what did you call me for? What's that, Pranav? Uh, did you call me for anything? I yeah, I had called you to read, but uh, oh, that's okay. okay. It's good I, I, Mataji, can I read? That's okay. Who, no, no, we are not reading I now. I, I, we are revising now. Yes, Mukund, do you want to share some points? What we learned, learned in chapter 15 so far. And we learned that um, Arjun comes back to Hastinapur and tells Yudhishthira Maharaj that Krishna is, um, has now departed from this world. Mm -hmm. And and now um, Yudhishthira Maharaj, he has taken the decision to give up his life by going into the forest. Okay, we'll see if he goes to forest or somewhere else, but very good. Thank you for sharing that Mukund. Very nice. Uh, anyone else wants to share? Any point which you remember? Because we learned so many points in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is going for going on for a long okay. time. Right? And Ramachandra say? Yeah, Ramachandra, go ahead, yes. Um, I think uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj uh, planned like all because he's going to depart from this world, so he planned everything. And I think they're going, they're uh, going to the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Adhik, you can Adhik, say? Yes, Adhik, go ahead. I was going to say um, the same thing Ramachandra said. It was okay. um, like Yudhishthira Maharaj is going to the Himalayas to finish his. Um, like last he finished his life because Krishna also left his body and he wants to leave his mm -hmm. body also and then he gives the kingdom to Parshit Maharaj Mataji can mm -hmm. I say yes Rai Pradhan um this topic mostly talks about um how Yudhishthir Maharaj um like Yudhishthir Maharaj well, was uh, still sad because Krishna left because he had to go to uh, another different place. So he was still sad, but then he, he realized that he shouldn't always be sad for Krishna leaving. So, and he thought that he should still be doing Krishna conscious. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Rapralant. Okay. So we will move. Now I will share some points. Uh, now nobody has any points, right? Or anyone still wants to share? Okay. So it started how? Like how Arjun was sad, right? And then he said that Krishna had left him alone. He glorified Krishna. And then he mentioned various things which he could achieve because of the association of his friend, Krishna. Oh, I again mentioned Arjun here. And then what happened? He re what he remembered? Instructions given by Krishna, right? When? When were the instructions given to him? On the battlefield, battlefield of correction. Remember those instructions. Then after hearing all this, 
from Arjun, King Yudhishthi decides to go back home, back to Godhead. And Kunti also, she engaged herself completely in the devotional service. And then what he did, Maharaj Yudhishthi, it's given in detail. Because he was intelligent enough to understand the influence of the age of Kali. You all remember that how he could uh, feel the bad omens, right? The inauspiciousness. He could feel that now something is bad is going to happen. And all those incidences are given, what all was happening. So he was intelligent enough to recognize that. So he prepared himself to leave and he dressed accordingly. That also you must have seen, right? He then, he, what he did, he enthroned his grandson. Who's that? Okay. And then who was trained and equally qualified as the emperor, then he posted Vajra also the son of Aniruddha, grandson of Lord Krishna at Mathura. And then we all saw yesterday, did you see this? Like how he was, uh, he put those garments and he dressed up in a torn clothing and he gave up eating and then he became dumb and let his hair hang loose. And he just like a deaf man, like a dumb person, he heard nothing. He just was ready to leave in what situation that you must have seen yesterday, right? How he was dressed and everything. So till here, we finished now until verse 43 yesterday, okay? So now we are moving to verse 44. Today's verse is one, Canto one, chapter 15, verse 44. So please repeat, we will recite the verse also, okay? Okay, Mataji. Udi chim pravi vesha sham. Udi chim pravi vesha sham. Udi chim pravi vesha Udi chim pravi vesha sham. Udi chim pravi vesha sham. Gata purvam mahatma bhi. Gata purvam mahatma bhi. Gata Purva Mahatma Bhi. Gata Purva Mahatma Bhi. Riti Brahma Param Dhyayan. Riti Brahma Param Dhyayan. Navar Te Tayato Gataha. Navar Te Tayato Yeah, who wants to read the translation? Mataji can I go to it? can I read the translation? Okay, Advait, go ahead. He then started toward the north, treading the path accepted by his forefathers, the great men and great men, to devote himself completely to the thought of the Supreme Personality of God, and he lived in that way whether he, wherever he was. Yeah, so what happened here? What is mentioned? What you understood from this? Where did he go? Uh, he went to, he went to uh, the north. north. Mm. And why? Because that was the path accepted He's by the path that accepted by okay. his forefathers. Forefathers and great men. So he did not go just somewhere else. He followed the path of his forefathers and great men. Why? To devote himself completely to the thought of Supreme Personality of God. And he lived in that way wherever he went. Okay, so let's see, look into this verse in detail. Oh God. Okay, so Srila Prabhupada says, one who goes to the northern side, it is to be understood, he never comes back. The northern side is not like just a northern direction of our house. Northern side means the Arctic zone covered with snow. So you all know there is art in zone here, right? Which is always completely covered with snow. Mataji? Yes. But, but for people who go to uh, north in India, wouldn't they just go to the Himalayas? Yes, so that is also north, right? So that is there. That's what we, uh, like we saw even uh, Dhritarashtra, King Dhritarashtra, he also went there, right? When he got the knowledge from Vidura. 
so that Himalayas and all that Mount Everest. So that is that comes in north. So that's where even we know those who meditate or who who are in the Dhyana Yoga, they usually leave everything and they also go to Himalayas and they do they are completely absorbed in the meditation and do a lot of austerities. So here Prabhupada has explained that one who goes there, it is to be understood that he never comes back. So it is understood from this verse that Maharaj Yudhishthir followed in the footsteps of his forefathers, like we read here, right? He followed in the footsteps of his forefathers and the great devotees of the Lord. Like we all know how it is important to follow in the footsteps, to follow the authority, right? In the footsteps of the authority. He did not just decide something whimsically or with mental speculation. He just followed what his forefathers did, what great devotees of the Lord did, right? We all know the importance of following in the footsteps of Acharyas, right? We all have this disciplic succession. We, we are aware of this, how the knowledge comes. So it is very important like we follow that knowledge. Why? Because that is the correct knowledge. Uh, Haribol Mataji, can I speak one minute, Mataji, please? Yes, Mataji, yes. Yeah, so today we have cooking activity, as everybody knows. I have posted many times. Um, so we, there are many things that to be kept ready. Can you all please ask your parents to keep ready when you are listening to the class? Anyway, it is all need to be used fire. So if you inform your parents, they'll keep ready for you. Mataji, that was my question. Mataji, what do you mean fire? Uh, it is fire cooking, right? You use the stove. That's what I am saying. Okay, so like, um, what do we need to prepare? I, I kept in the chat and your mom also see, saw the message in the Govinda group. No, uh, she got the ingredients. Just like you said, you had to keep some stuff ready. Yeah, very like, good. Very good, uh, Suraj. Very good. So please, children, keep ready. It is needed to be cooked on uh, stove. So then please ask your parents to do it. As children are not allowed to use that. Yeah. Yeah. You thank you, Mataji. Parents. I posted no again. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mataji. Okay. So this is a little different recipe to this time, right? Who, who are all making? Are you all excited? <laughs> But take parents' help whenever you need. Whenever you need to use fire, take parents' help. What's that, Mukul? I'm excited for it, but I can't make it today. Okay, but you can just watch it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here, what is mentioned? Why did King Yudhishthir leave everything and take sannyas? Why did he do that? Like, why he took accepted the renounced order of life? Why did he do that? He could have just stayed there and continued with his uh, or to say kingdom, right? But why did he do that? Anyone wants to say anything? Um, maybe because Kali was starting. Yeah, Mataji. Kali and was because of, and Krishna left. Krishna left, so that's why okay. he was feeling separation. Okay. Okay. So we will read this part of purport, okay? You all have raised hands, so we will read one by one. Kavya, do you want to read? Yes, Mataji. Go ahead. The system of va varnas Varnashram, Varnashram Dharma. The dharma, as it was strictly followed by the inhabitants of the world, in emphasizes <clears throat> emphasizes the importance of leaving the household conditions a certain stage of life. Okay. Uh, the train. Okay, the go ahead. To read until here. Go ahead. The training and education was so important, and thus a respectful person like Maharaj Sudhisthu. Had to leave all family condition for self-realization going back to God. Yes, so what was he doing? Why uh, did he leave? Yeah, so, that's right. That Krishna left, but he also who's that saying something? Go ahead. Somebody was saying something. 
Okay. So as per the system of Varnashram Dharma, which is strictly followed by the inhabitants of the world, it says the importance of leaving all household connection at a certain stage of life. It says that you have to leave all your household connections at certain stage. And that training and education was imported. So a respectable person like Maharaj Yudhishthir had to leave all family connections. So these are the devotees of the Lord. They, they just set an example, like how you should leave all the household connections at certain age. So he had to leave all family connections for what? To enjoy life? No. To, to no. um, get rid of all sins so that he can go to um, Godok Vrindavan. For self-realization and going back to Godhead. Okay, we will read the next part. Uh, Vyukta, do you want to read? You have raised hand. No king or respectable gentleman would continue family life till the end. Because that was considered suicide and Suicidal. against the interest of perfection of human life. Yes. So you can see why they would not continue family life till the end. There is another reason. One more reason is it was considered suicidal. What is suicidal? Like just suicide basically means just... Be uh, killing yourself. Just killing yourself. Ah, yes. So suicidal this is like, Killing yourself and you yes. become a ghost. It is not less than killing oneself when we still continue with the family life. We still want to enjoy. Yeah, you know, we cannot get out of it. There are so many attachments. We still want to hold on to it. And that's kind of societal, Prabhupada says in the purport. And it is against the interest of the perfection of human life. Why? Because what is the perfection of human life? We all know we are learning in Krishna consciousness, right? In what is the perfection of human life? What what is the purpose? To go back to, to, go back to uh... yes, yes, to get connect to connect back to Krishna and go back to Him, right? Let's read the next part. Krishna Naina, do you want to read? Read till the end. Yes, Mataji. Um, uh, in order to be free from. In order to be free from all family incumbrances and devote mm -hmm. oneself, oneself percent in, in the devotional service of Lord Krishna. This system is always recommended for everyone because it is the path of authority. Thank you, Mataji. Yes. yes. So, if we have to devote oneself 10% 10 to devotional service of Lord Krishna, what is recommended? We can, this path, this system is recommended for everyone. There is no exception for everyone because it is the path of authority. This is what our uh, um, acharyas have done. This is what the authority uh, has done. Okay. So, th because this is a correct knowledge, right? This is the path of perfection. This is what Prabhupada mentions in the purport. So like you have seen four orders of life, right? What are the four orders of life? And that needs to be followed, right? Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanapastha, and Sannyas. And that are to be followed by all irrespective of the occupational division. So this is what also Vidura also gave, Vidura told Vitarashtra, right? When he had when he came back to Hastinapur, he was uh, he saw uh, King Dhritarashtra, he was still, you know, yeah, he was still staying there. He was still attached to many things, right? So he, he, he couldn't see that. And then he told him that, uh, you know, Kala is approaching us. So you have to come out of it. You are still say, staying with those whom you gave a bad treatment, right? How he gave bad treatment to all the Pandavas. And now he was staying with them, whereas all his... Uh, sons and brothers everyone was gone so he's he was telling him that you should come out of it do you all remember this when we learned this long back yes mataji, yes, mataji. right and then he told him like you should not uh, live your life like this 
because what has happened to him you see he has mentioned that you know, your body is now overtaken by invalidity his body has become had become weak he had, you have been blind from your very birth and now you have you have become hard of hearing also he could even hardly hear anything memory was shortened intelligence is disturbed teeth are loose right so we cannot keep con you know, keep continuing with the same stage like same uh, status like right so we have to come out of it that's what vidura is telling and vidrashtra then he gets convinced right and what does he do he goes he to the forest home and then he's uh, set out on the path of liberation as directed by his younger brother vidura and then also gandhari also followed him you, as you can see he also went to himalaya mountains Okay, so he also accepted renounced order of life, and we have one more example how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also accepts renounced order of life, right? So, how old was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he accepted renounced order of life? Anyone knows? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yes. So, why he accepted actually because he wanted to attract public attention, right? So, not wishing to disturb the social convention, took the renounced order of life from a sannyasi in the disciplic succession of Shankaracharya. Although sannyas was also sanctioned in the Vaishnava Sampradaya, so that is a different topic. Why he took from Shankaracharya? Because the Shankaracharya, the influence of Shankaracharya was very strong that time. So he took sannyas from Keshav Bharati. But see, Lord Chaitanya was so merciful. He took sannyas at the age of twenty-four, so everyone will accept him. so he also accepted renounced order of life so this is this is one more example and we also have shila prabhupad right so this is what little bit about how uh, king yudhishthir he accepted this renounced order and he was he went towards the north uh, and followed the footsteps of his forefathers okay so you all get ready for your cooking class i will stop here i will see you all next week one second for for joining pancha galpata rupya shivaka pancha galpata rupya shivaka rupya vicha patana bhavne dio vaishnav vedo namo namo उटेड Yes, you are excited. Even I am excited. It's Lakshmi Mataji, none other than she is a famous cook in Jagannath Kitchen. She cooks in such a way that you know you stop going to restaurant once you see her food. It's oh, better than the restaurant. Okay. Better, 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 better than. I will let you. And she Mataji. was a teacher for Madhava Youth also. She has teach many times cooking there. And Damodar also whenever we need cooking, she is always there. So we are very happy to have her on the call today. Mataji, it's all you. Yes, please take over, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Yeah, Hare Krishna, kids. How are you all? Hi, how are you? I'm good too. And are you excited for lasagna today? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you all like it. Um, though it's slightly unhealthy because we're using pasta in that. But at the same time, you can make it very, very healthy by adding as much as vegetables you want, right? So you can add whatever vegetables you like, and you can still make it healthy. So let's get started, right? We have uh, very less time. So there were certain things that you wanted to prepare, right? So did you prepare the veggies and sauce? Did you boil the pasta already? Um, the pasta is boiling over here. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Mataji, I'm the just making the sauce. What's that, Mataji? We are making sauce now. We are on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm the only one who has done this already. <laughs> all right never mind while we are doing all this let's just do one thing because that's going to take time so let's preheat our oven to 475 degrees because that's going to take time too all right so while our oven is what is the degree mataji once one more time 475 degrees oh. 
All right. So while um, all this is happening, we just have to do one thing. If your veggies are already ready, we're going to crush our veggies a little bit, okay? Um, I have already done it, but I just wanted to show you how that looks. So maybe you want to use grinder or chopper or something of that sort. We do not want to puree it. We just want to crush it. So if we, oh gosh, this is not enough light. Let's see. Okay. If you look at this, do you see? I mean, slightly crushed. Carrots. 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 Okay. Carrots. Are we good with this? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're going to crush our veggies. You can use mixer grinder, you can use a chopper, you can use anything, but let's just crush the veggies, whatever you have used. And let me know once you're ready. We'll go to the next step. So, Mataji, you have crushed the veggies which you cooked, right? Yeah, the cooked veggies. Yeah. Okay, you have to crush. Mataji, can we use the masher? If it will be yeah, use masher, Mataji. Use anything. We just don't okay. want it to be a puree, but... Okay. Any little bit of okay. yeah, slightly so that they are they we can, so that they're bound together, right? When we put them in the in the layers. Mataji, I have a question. Yeah. So uh, for the like uh vegetable mash thingy, do we have to boil it, fry it, what? So did you did you stir fry your veggies? Oh uh, yeah, like my mom is over there, so we yeah, do not. Mom would have done it, right? So mom would have stir fried the veggies. So veggies are already very soft now, right? Because we have stir fried it already, um, and then you should be able to mash it now, right? So then we're just supposed to like put it directly in it. I put it directly in the in the blender. No, I don't understand. So like, I got the carrots ready. So do we have to boil it or cook it? What? You have to saute it. Right, so you will use the pan on the gas stove and you will saute it with the, with the oil, a little bit of oil. Oh, okay, you that? I understand, okay. You're gonna start fry it basically. Oh, uh, okay. So is that done? Yeah, mostly yeah, perfect. perfect. If that is done, everybody's done with that. Are your veggies ready? Are your veggies stir fried and are uh, they mashed? Madhuri, my veggies are frying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's all right. Madhuri, my veggies are ready. Veggies are ready. So, okay. So, mash your veggies. Now, we're going to do the next step. Okay. Everybody's ready with their veggies. So, uh, we talked about few cheese, right? So I talked about ricotta cheese and cottage cheese. So you have those cheese with you? And we're using one cup of each. My dad is going to get it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is, if you already have it ready, if you don't, then once you have the cheese, add it. But if you have it ready, so this is my ricotta cheese. It looks like this, right? It's pretty much... um. um like caught, uh, pretty much like a curd or yogurt kind of consistency. So I'm going to add that to our veggie mixture. Okay. So we're going to add both the cottage cheese. Yeah. Ma, what if we don't have that cheese? Well, what cheese do you have? Do you have any, do you have cottage cheese? What, what? Do you have cottage cheese or ricotta? Any of those? No? Mataji, if we have paneer, we can use. Uh, paneer uh, is fine, Mataji. Paneer can be used. Mataji, for, what do we have to um, do with the cheese? It will have, but it will have different kind of paneer. Uh, paneer is a little chewy then. Um, no, Mataji, right? we'll have. Um, so if you Mataji, if you're not using ricotta or cottage cheese, you want to use mozzarella and parmesan. Uh, more more quantity of those Mataji. so that it melts and it binds everything together. So in your mixture, Mataji, let's do one thing. If you do not have anybody who does not have ricotta or um, cottage cheese, any of those cheese, add mozzarella cheese um, in your mixture. So a cup of mozzarella cheese, a cup or two cups of mozzarella cheese. You have that, right? Mataji? Yes, we have yeah. that. Yes. Can, I, can I add a little bit of cheese since I have... 
My doctor told me I can't eat that much cheese. Yeah, if you don't like cheese, then add a little bit of cheese. Mataji, we have um, mixed shredded cheese. Uh, it is fine. Now? It is fine. Okay. So in that case, when you're not using this liquid kind of cheese, um, you may want to um, mash your veggies in such a way that they are not, um, you know, they're, they're not big pieces anymore. Because we don't want them to fall, fall apart in the layers, right? Okay. So we have to mash it fine. And yeah. then we are using this kind of cheese. Yeah, you're using Mexican blend, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Mexican okay. blend... Um, and the other one is uh, mozzarella, any of those you can use. We are going to use parmesan as well. Uh, but I'll tell you when we use that. We are not using it inside this. So I'm going to put my cheese here, okay? And mother cheese and kids, you can put your, um, whatever cheese you're using, just put your cheese to um, your mixture, your veggie mixture. So I just added ricotta and I'm going to add um, cottage cheese now. Ooh, a lot of cheese. It's gonna be a cheesy um stuff. All right, so I've added that. I'm just gonna give it a stir a bit. Just mix them together. All right. Is everybody ready for the mixture? All right, my mixture looks like this right now. Mataji? Yeah. Yes, Mataji. Can we, can we add any kind of cheese? Uh, it just depends what kind of cheese do you have. You want the cheese to melt. Oh, okay. Yeah, so anything that could melt, that could bind our veggies together. That's what we are trying to do. So any, any cheese that you like, as per your taste, you can use. And Mataji, you were asking the question about paneer. Yeah, you can always use paneer, uh, use paneer, not as a replacement to uh, the cheese we have used, but as, a, as one of the ingredient in your veggies. So I've used tofu today. Um, I, I forgot to mention it earlier, but uh, yeah, I've used tofu in this. You can use paneer, you can use any kind of veggies that you like, uh, including, including paneer. Uh, okay. So kids, are we ready with the mixture? Mataji, so okay. sorry, I'm making you to repeat again. Uh, but okay. Mataji, after everything, so I mixed the veggies, processed veggies, I mixed in the sauce. Then what I have to do, Mataji? What all I have to keep ready? So Mataji, have you mixed your cheese and um, veggies together? No, cheese I did not mix. So I have to mix cheese also in there? No, so we are keeping, so we are not, okay. So I don't know what you have done so far, Mataji, but you, you have the sauce, right? We are not mixing sauce with anything yet. Keeping the sauce aside, this is the sauce, oh, we're keeping that aside. I, I, mixed, I mixed the veggies in there. Sauce? Processed veggies in there. I mean like grinded veggies in there. Yeah, that's fine, Mataji. So if, you, if your veggies are ground already, uh, you can add your cheese to the veggies now. Okay, cheese. Okay. Yeah, just the cheese, whatever cheese you're using. Okay. I've used ricotta and cottage cheese. Uh, you can use whatever cheese you have. Yeah, yeah, sure. I have both the cheese that you mentioned, Mataji. Okay, perfect. Mataji, could you share a ricotta and cottage cheese? Which, what brand is safe? Like what you use usually? I, Mataji, I usually buy that from Whole Foods. The one that does not have animal rennet in it. Okay, and, and you remember the brand name or it is a whole food brand only? It, I think it should be 365. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's 365 brand. Okay, Mataji. Thank you. And, and the Parmesan I use um, is from the same brand. It's this one. Thank you, Mataji. Sure, Mataji. All right, are we ready to start assembling now? The next thing that we need to do is assemble all this, whatever we have prepared so far. So let me know when everybody's ready. So Mataji, what is that you're adding to the like glass type of draping? Yeah, so this is, uh, this is the container that I'm gonna bake my uh, lasagna in. Um, so yeah, get the, get the, whatever, um, container you're going to bake your, you can use the foil, um, 
foil container, you can use a glass container, you can use any of the containers. So this is what I'm gonna use, it's just it's the shape. Okay, and what are you adding it? Is it tomato sauce? Yeah, so we're gonna start adding everything in here. Everybody's ready, can we start assembling it now? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so first thing that goes in your container is your sauce. I usually like to, so there is no exact quantity that you need here. You just need to put the put enough quantity that it covers your whole base and you have a little bit like thick, um, thick layer of the sauce here. So if you, I'll show you how I'm doing it. So if you look at this, do you see like, you know, it's still here. So this, this is the layer of the sauce. You can add more if you like more. I think I have, I have a lot, so I'm gonna, Add a little bit more just to finish it up. So this is it. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our pasta there. So this, these are my lasagna noodles, all right? I'm gonna start laying them here in the bottom. It just depends upon you. If the container you are using is small enough that the whole pasta doesn't go in, uh, you can cut it off, but I usually just, you know, kind of fold it and let it be there. I don't mind extra pasta there, right? All right, so my container would take, and do not hesitate to overlap your pasta, right? So if you look at my container, um, it wouldn't take, um, you know, three of these pastas. So I'm just gonna overlap them. So I have, I got one already. The second one goes slightly overlaps the first one and, um, and now the third one. So I have three pastas in here. Um, you know, I can try showing you how it looks with this overlap. I'll have to get my laptop here so I can show you. I don't want to. So do you see how it looks? Right? So that's how it's going to look like. All right. Everybody done with that? Yes. Yes, Master G. Next thing what we're going to layer is our veggie mixture. So almost half, so whatever veggie mixture you have, whatever quantity of veggie mixture you have, just pour half of the quantity on the top of it. So you're going to layer it now, right? So use half of the quantity of your veggie mixture on the, on the pasta. So I've, I've started layering it now. Make sure your pasta is nicely covered. And if you do not have a lot of quantity of veggie, make sure that the that all the pastas are covered, right? So we're not trying to, um, if you have less quantity, do not try to make a layer, but at least all the three pastas that you have, every single pasta should have the quantity. You know, have, should have, you know, one line of um, the veggie mixture, at least. So I'm still going ahead with uh, my pasta, my mixture. I have um, more quantity left. Yeah, now Mataji, are you spreading like the veggies? Yeah, I'm spreading the veggie mixture. So veggie and cheese mixture is what I'm spreading. So I've used half of my quantity here. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's what we're spreading right now. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. You see, so, oh, what? Okay, now. Okay, so we got our sauce layer in the bottom. Then the second layer was pasta and the third layer is your veggie. Are we ready for the next one? Yes, Mata G. All right, so next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the sauce on the top of this, right? So another layer of sauce here. Let me know if anybody is not able to follow, okay? 
We don't mind going slow, but we want everybody to be there with us together, right? So let's pour the sauce. Mataji, we missed uh, after you put one layer of the veggies. You did you cover the uh, thing with the uh, pasta or you put some sauce? I put the sauce now. Okay. So sauce, and then now I'm going with mozzarella cheese on the top of this. So any shredded cheese or any Mexican blend or any other kind of cheese that you're using, you can use that. It, uh, it's still one, just one layer of pasta we have layered, right? Just we're gonna go with next layer of pasta after this mozzarella cheese. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to layer this with mozzarella now. Now, Mataji, are you sprinkling the cheese? Yeah, I'm sprinkling mozzarella right now. Oh, so if okay. you have mozzarella, use mozzarella. If yeah, you don't... I have, I have a big packet of mozzarella. Ooh, let's use this. That's why I'm using mozzarella, you know. <laughs> I have mozzarella too at home and I want to finish it off. <laughs> so use mozzarella. If you like, if you do not like cheese, use less. If you like cheese, you can actually make a good layer of this. So I will just finish what I have in my bowl and um, I don't mind that. I don't mind cheese once in a while. All right, I am finishing whatever I had. So I sprinkled um, all the cheese here. Now we're ready for the Second layer of pasta. So I'm going with my second layer of pasta now. Okay. So I got my second layer of pasta now, kids. And the next thing what you're gonna do is, we're gonna layer our veggie mixture again, okay? So I'm starting with that now. Mataji, the pasta sheets are uh, are they fully cooked or they are uh, little raw? They're fully cooked, Mataji. So we get two types of uh, lasagna pasta in the market, right? One is um, one type of pasta. Pasta we can just use. We don't have to cook it. We don't have to boil it before starting making the lasagna. It gets cooked with that, right? The one I've used today is the one I boiled uh, earlier. So they are they are like really boiled. They're boiled and soft. You see, yeah. Okay, the, the oven ready one which uh, we don't boil we just put it directly exactly. exactly you directly layer them with everything and then bake it and it gets cooked okay so that's not the one i'm using i'm using the one which i need to boil before i layer them so much noise all right, so I got all my uh, veggies in. I finished all the veggies that I had, you know. Um, and let's just layer them equally so that all the pasta is covered with the veggies. This is ready now. Let's go with this next layer of um, sauce. Uh, 
Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Uh, how how long do we have to put it in the oven for? Oven, we will bake it for about I think eighteen or twenty minutes. Okay, and what's the temperature for it? Temperature is four seventy seventy five degrees, and you should already be preheating your oven, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if you have not done that yet, start the preheating now. Okay, so I have um, covered this. Um, and now I'm gonna, on this layer, I'm just gonna use the Parmesan instead. So again, it just depends if you have Parmesan and that's what you wanna use on this layer, use this. If you don't wanna use Parmesan, then you can use any cheese of your choice. I like the taste of Parmesan in um, lasagna. So I'm just gonna use this liberally. All right, and after this, oh gosh, my vessel is small. All right, so I'm gonna cover, cover it with final layer of pasta. Now I have three more pastas left and I am just going to cover it uh, with my pasta now, like that. And the extras that I have, this time I'm gonna just cut it off because I have no room to fold them. So I'll just cut them and I'll, I just wanna make sure that I only have the length that I need for this. All right, let's start layering. All right. I got the last one now. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now what you can do, if you your container is big enough and it, you can still layer it up a little bit, uh, what I would do is I'll pour remaining sauce on the top of it and then we will um, spread our cheese on the top. So cheese would be again, whatever, mozzarella, Mexican blend, you're using, use one of those and also Parmesan. So I'm gonna just do that right now. Just one second. All right, um, let me get some mozzarella. Everyone following me? Okay. Mataji, do you also get uh, the mozzarella from 365 brand? Actually, get it from Costco. Okay, it's Costco one. Okay. This is a Costco one, but I before you use it at home, yeah, make sure that Mataji, you check. Um, I think somebody told me long, long ago that this is okay to use, so I'm, I've been using it for a very long yes, time. Yes, yes, Mataji. <laughs> Yeah, there's always confusion about cheese. All right, um, so again, spreading my mozzarella on the top and I will just add Parmesan as well on the top, a little bit for the taste. Oh, okay, Parmesan. Parmesan goes on the top again. Mataji, what are you putting uh, on it right now? 
Uh, that's that's uh, Parmesan. So we took we did two layers of Parmesan, right? So this is the last final layer. Just in case, if you use tomato uh, tomato sauce on the top, use your tomato sauce, your cheese, shredded cheese, whatever cheese you are using, and Parmesan. After doing all this, what we got to do is we need a foil sheet, and we're going to cover this with a foil sheet. Okay, just like this. Mataji, that's a lot of cheese you added. See, when I eat cheese once in a while, this is how I eat. Uh. <laughs> I am wondering, you kids don't like cheese a lot these days, and look at us. We do not see so much cheese. Well, I'm not fond of cheese, but you know, if you do not add a um, good amount of cheese in lasagna, it's not going to bind things together. So when you start cutting your lasagna, it already has layers and veggies, right? So it will just start falling apart. So that is why you need cheese for binding. All right. So I am ready to put this in the oven. Are you all done? Is it ready to go in the oven now? All right, so this one goes in the oven now. My oven is already 475 degrees. So I would uh, put it in the oven right away. I would just use this. put it in the in Four seventy-five. You got it right. Mother, how long it should be cooked? So we will cook this for about ten to twelve minutes. Ten to twelve minutes. Okay. Yeah. So let's set the um, let's set it to ten to twelve minutes. And there is one more thing that we're gonna do after that. Um, we just have to see if you don't have time, then maybe I'll let you know what we needs to be done. But no, we have time, Mataji. No problem. There is no another class. You can say the next process after the ending. Like you, we can, if you want, we can end the call also. If you say the next process, or if you have time, we can stay because there is no other class after this. Sure, yeah, no problem, Mataji. Whatever works for you. So after after we bake it for about 10, 12 minutes at four seventy five degrees. What we're going to do is we'll take it out and um, you should have um, breadcrumbs, right? We're going to spread breadcrumbs on the top of it. I don't have breadcrumbs, so I will have to skip that process. But um, when you add breadcrumbs on the top, it really tastes good. So yeah, after 12 minutes, you'll take it out of the oven and uh, just um, sprinkle breadcrumbs on the top, make a layer of breadcrumbs, a thin layer of breadcrumbs, and then put it in the oven for about a minute or so until your breadcrumbs turn golden. We don't want to burn it. They should just turn golden a minute or less than a minute, whatever time it takes, and then take it out. That's the only thing we have to do after this is baked. Oh, that, then it is whole, like only 15 minutes of work is there more. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, breadcrumbs wouldn't take a lot of time. So it's, it's a very quick process. Mataji, so 475 degree, 12 minutes, right? For baking. Minutes, yes, Mataji. Yes. And one more minute for the breadcrumbs. Yes, yes, Mataji. One minute Mataji. or less for the breadcrumbs. Sometimes, you know, oven, because after at 475 degrees, the oven would be very, very hot. So it may take just a few seconds, maybe about 15 seconds or 30 seconds for the breadcrumbs to turn golden. Do we have to add the breadcrumbs? You don't have to. If you don't like it, don't add it. But I like I like breadcrumbs. And you know, my daughter doesn't even eat if breadcrumbs are not there. She Mataji, likes it. So much. Is this the one, Mataji? I don't know because I never made this recipe. Oh, that, that's a bread, Mataji? Breadcrumbs. Oh, uh, 
I think they look bigger, right? Don't they? Are they? Yeah, is... they are looking bigger. So little bigger they are looking. Yeah. Is it breadcrumbs or those sticks? The the dried. Um... Breadcrumbs only, Mataji. On this. That's okay, Mataji. What you can do is—is is that dry? Yeah, dry. Hmm. What you can do is, Mataji, take some uh, whatever quantity you need, and and then just um uh, use it in the grinder, grind it. Grind it. Yeah, that's what grind I'm saying. Grind it to a tiny pieces. What I do? Okay, I'll tell you my trick. <laughs> And I should have told this before. I don't buy breadcrumbs ever. I just get the bread, the regular bread, what you eat, whole wheat or maida bread or whatever bread you like. Get any bread and then just grind it. That's it. You just need the kind of, you know, powdered kind of consistency of the bread. That's all you need. That's what I so, but, but we need to roast the bread, right? Mataji, then no. only it will come, right? Mataji, it will get roasted now. So the additional one minute or 30 seconds, we're going to put no, it No, no, I'm over. saying that for breadcrumbs, Mataji, if you want to make the breadcrumbs with the regular bread, I need to roast the bread and then grind it, right? The, otherwise, how the powder will come? No, 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 you don't have to. You can just um, you can just grind the wet bread. That's it. But it will come, Mataji? Yeah. It will, so it is not a dry powder, but it will still give you a powdered consistency. It is um, not dry though. And then when we bake it in the oven for additional whatever few seconds we are doing, it will get dried also. So you will, it, it will be just like a powdered dry bread. Oh, okay. Okay, got it, Mataji. But I, you know, another thing that I do is I don't use that. Um, so when you have the bread loaf, you have those corner breads, right? They, which are more big than the inside bread, right? Yeah, yes. I use those. Oh, okay, got it. Those are extra baked, right? So I use those. Those are already brown color. They are slightly harder than the inside bread. So I use those. Got it, Mataji. Sure, Mataji. Okay, I have nine minutes left. Another thing with lasagna. As soon as it comes out, you already must know that. Uh, but that has been my experience too, you know, because the moment lasagna comes out of the oven, everybody wants to eat it, right? That that happens in my family all the time. So what happens is because it's so hot, everything is so hot in there. What happens when you start taking out the pieces, it may start falling apart, right? So you have to give it a little bit of time, let it come to a normal temperature, you know? Anyways, this hot, you can't even eat as soon as it comes out of the oven. It needs time. So give it time, about 10, 15 minutes. Let it cool down a little bit and then cut your pieces. Then, you know, they will come out good. You'll get the nice, you know, square pieces or whatever shapes you want, the rectangle pieces. All right. How are we doing, kids? Is everybody's lasagna is in the oven? Mataji, mine is in the oven. Good. Wait There's up. only um seven minutes, I think. Yeah. Seven minutes, yeah, seven minutes. Okay, yeah, good, yeah, approximately same time for all of us, I guess. Okay. And if you do not like, uh, this is another thing that I make when I don't make lasagna. Sometimes I make, not always, but lasagna, I, are easier right but if you don't like lasagna and you want to try something different uh different shape what you can do is with these same pasta um, pasta same lasagna pasta you can boil in the same way and the mixture that we have added in the layers you can just add the same mixture with some cheese in your uh pasta just one roll of pasta and then roll that pasta okay after rolling that pasta Put it in the um, in whatever container you want to use. Put it in that container. Pour some sauce on that and just bake it. So it, it that also tastes very good. Like individual, they are more like a roll or wraps, right? Just the round shape. Yeah, you can try that too. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do this way, you don't want to cut the la lasagna. You don't want to do all that. You can just make those kind of rolls that looks good and well, taste well. It's pretty much same. And you don't have to bake the whole big lasagna. You can just make few rolls, whatever you need. Okay. Is everybody doing okay? Yeah. Where, what were you asking, Mataji? I was talking to my mom. <laughs> I was asking if everybody's doing okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, uh, I took a, like, what, like, 
we I'm on the like top layer like I added pasta on the wedgies and after that my mom is like grinding breadcrumbs ah, okay yeah yeah so breadcrumbs buddy so first you add the pasta and then on top of the pasta do you have bread do you add bread crumb crumbs first and then cheese or so no so now once it is out of the oven we have added cheese we have added pasta everything now we don't need to add anything else than the bread crumbs right so once this is baked we will just add the bread crumbs and nothing else oh okay only the bread crumbs uh we and after bread crumbs now uh, we are not going to put um foil on the top okay the aluminum foil we're not going to put that we'll just add the bread crumbs and bake it straight Thank you, Mataji, for your time. Very, very grateful to you. And kids, please, I request everyone to post the picture so that Mataji is happy, right? Mataji took so much of time. She went for grocery. She buyed all that. I don't know if she wants to eat lasagna or not, but she made it for all of us. So please, children, I request everyone to please post your picture. That makes Mataji very happy. Okay? Yeah, no, we all I offer did. it to Krishna also. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it comes out for all of you. And I have to admit, th say thank you to you all because if you if I wouldn't have made lasagna today, I wouldn't have eaten lasagna, right? So because of you, I get to eat lasagna today. So I'm excited. But four more minutes. Thank you, Matthew, for teaching us. Oh, you're so welcome. So do you all like to eat um, Italian food? Yes. Like before I ate lasagna, it came really good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you like Italian food, you will definitely like lasagna too. Thank you, Mataji, for teaching us this facet. You're so welcome. Just three more minutes. I was actually thinking, I was thinking that when we put a lasagna in the oven, we should actually try something else, right? A drink or something. But yeah, it was too late for me to share the recipe or the ingredients with anyone. But yeah, we can try that next time. While it is baking, we can always try to make a drink for us. Got two more minutes now. Did any of you any of you finish yet? I still have two more minutes. And be very careful when you take the foil off, right? It must be, it will, would be very, very hot from inside. So don't burn yourself. Take it out very, very carefully. Mataji, we only have one more minute. Yeah, uh, yeah same. Now it uh, went to zero minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. We are finishing on time. Mataji, I just heard the word foil. So do we have to cover this lasagna with foil and put it? Yes. Oh, okay. Now, 
the lasagna which is in the oven should have been covered with foil because if you don't do that your, your lasagna the top layer of lasagna would turn very very hard that you can't eat it will it will go back to its original shape before we boiled right yeah okay, uh, okay. yeah so we want to keep that soft and moist and we want all the flavors and uh, and we want it to absorb all the moisture right so mine is done i'm going to take it out now wow do I All right. Tell me. Hey, everybody's excited? Yeah. Let's see how it came I out. I just wanted to check. Is it alum, alum? Yeah, aluminum foil? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the one. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Matriji, could you show it it's in the camera? Reality. Yeah, I will show you. So I, I took my foil off. And, um, you know, I will just I have to bring my laptop here so I can show you. Give me one sec. That's how it looks like. So do you so if you look at it closely, uh -huh. you would uh, you see the dried cheese on the top, right? That's Parmesan because Parmesan doesn't melt. And just underneath that, we have mo mozzarella and that is melted. Now, what you want to do is now what you want to do is just spread your um, or sprinkle your um, your breadcrumbs on the top now. Sprinkle it on the top and put it back in the oven. Oh, Matiji, uh, <laughs> I just like, uh, I, I put the cheese on top and then I just put the breadcrumbs on top. That's fine too. Oh. Matiji, uh, can you show us the final result? Yeah, I was just ring. Okay, I'll show again, okay? Here, um, this is, I wouldn't say this is the final result because I am missing breadcrumbs. Okay, because Mataji, could you uh, like add the sauce and stuff? Like, uh, my mom wants to know how it's going to be like at the end. Uh, add what? Mad at the end. No, no, no. Um, what do you want me to add to this? Okay, never mind, Mataji. Mataji, so, so are you going to cut it? Yeah, I will wait. Actually, I will wait for about 10 minutes because I don't want to cut it now and... Um, let me see if it is hard enough to cut. Yeah, but Mataji, so uh, we do not have the tray thingy that you put under it. So is it okay if we put it in the oven? Yeah, yeah. I use tray because this becomes very hot, right? So it's easy to hold, hold the tray. So let's oh, see. Okay. like see, that's good. Just because it's very hot, do you see like it's slightly liquidy right now? We got to give it some time. If I try to take it out now, I think it's going to just fall apart. So give it about 10 minutes or so. Okay, before and it's that. It's going to be really hot. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. It is so hot that if I will take it out, it will be like all the layers will fall apart. So I don't want to do that now. You also put your um, breadcrumbs on the top, bake it for a few seconds, and then take it out. Just until it turns brown. That's all we need to do. Let me see if I can actually take it out. But if you take it out, it's going to fall apart because you just took it out from the oven. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if, well, should I? Oh, I'm going to give it a try, okay? <laughs> Let's see if it works. <laughs> Suspending. Ooh, keep your fingers crossed. It should not fall apart. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you a cross. Oh, gosh. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, how excited. did it fall apart? I am excited, but... Let's see. See, do you see? It's so liquidy. Oh gosh, it's gonna fall apart. I am so sure. No, it's really. I I cannot try. Let's give it a time. Let's give it some time. Yeah, that's yeah. why we should. Uh, sauce is coming out. So right, we need to take it out of the oven. All right. Are you done with your breadcrumbs too? Eight thirty. Eight. It's eight forty. Is everybody done with the breadcrumbs? Do you want to show how it looks? Mataji, I just forgot. How many degrees do we have to bake it in? How many degrees? Just leave it at uh, leave it at seven for uh, oh, sorry, seven forty. Leave it at the same temperature, four seventy five. Okay, four seventy five. 
is fine. Even if you want to broil it, that is fine too. Just make sure you don't burn your breadcrumbs. And does anybody wants to show how it came out before we wrap up? Mataji, I just wanted to show wow. my lasagna, which okay. is in the oven. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Can you see it? It's near the light. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't see the color or anything. I just see the shape right now. Oh, is yeah. it with the breadcrumbs? Yeah, I added breadcrumbs over it. Awesome. Yeah, it must be done by now. Breadcrumbs wouldn't take a lot of time, remember? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to bake it for like two and a half minutes or something. Two and a half minutes? Hmm? Oh, I mean, not that long, but... I mean, I, I want to do that because this oven thingy is directly set it to eight minutes. So that's why I'm supposed to bake it again for two minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, every oven is different. Um, let me just move it from here so that it's on the oven right now and it may take time to cool down. I have to go. You have to go. I have to go now. All right. Yeah. Thank you for joining today. Mataji, should we wrap up now? Yes, Mataji. Yes, we will end now. I think uh, nobody has any questions regarding this. Hope yeah. you all got Mataji, questions. Mataji, we didn't have any questions. Perfect. Very you good. all are so smart already. You know, you can follow anything easily. So yeah, kids, thank you for joining today. Because of you, I'm eating lasagna. I'm so excited about that. But do post your picture so that we can take a look how it looks. Okay. I'm very excited. All okay. right. You all have a good night. Hare Krishna. And offer Hare to Krishna, Krishna before you eat, okay? Okay. Hare Krishna. Bye, Mataji. Bye, Mataji. Bye, Hare Krishna. Bye, bye, everyone. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Krishna, we be on a mona man and the Krishna Prabhupada, the key, Jay, Lakshmi Mataji, Jay. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Thank you.